Hello, hello, and welcome to another video. I have an articulate storyline tutorial for you today, and specifically, I'm going to teach you how you can master the alignment tools in articulate storyline. So as you can see here, I just have a simple black box on this storyline slide. So, and the tools we're looking at specifically are in this format tab and right here at the top in this arrange and align section, we're looking at all of these icons right here. These are the tools we will use to master alignment in storyline. So first things first, let's start nice and simple. Let's say we want this box to be right at the center of the slide. One way to do that is to drag it and wait until you get these nice double um, rulers or these double guidelines to show you that it's centered. But you can also very quickly do that using this align middle, align center tool, which will align it to the center of the slide. And then you use align middle right beneath that to align the box to the middle of the slide. So same thing, it brings that right to the center. And this is a very common, um, a very common practice with text if you want it right if you want it centered perfectly on the slide you just select the text box and then select that align center option so these if you only have one object selected then these alignment tools will all align to the slide itself so align top will bring it to flush top with the top of the slide bottom will bring it to the bottom right and left so you can see where this is going you can just move this all around um, using these tools. Now it gets a bit trickier when you have multiple objects selected. So let's say I have this here, I'm going to press control D to duplicate this. And let's say I have this, this regular box and also this longer rectangle. So let's bring this down here and let's imagine I want this uh, box right here centered with this rectangle. So what I would do is I would select both of them. So you can select one and then hold down the shift key and select the other. And then we can use this align center option. And as long as whatever you want to center is inside both corners of the object you want to center it to, then it will become centered. So you notice this is, this is within this right corner and this left, this left side. So as long as it's between those two corners and you have them both selected, it will align right to the center when you select that button, you see? So if I press this again, it will snap right to the center. And as you can see there, it is perfectly centered. Now where this might get a bit tricky is if this smaller square, we, want to send, we don't wanna move the bottom square, but if this smaller square is outside of a corner of the larger rectangle, then it will do like some compensatory action and it will bring the bottom rectangle closer and bring that one to the left. So watch this here. So you see how it moved both of them from their original positions? We didn't really want that. So you need to be really careful about where this object sits. Similarly, if, if you want to align this to the right, it will align it to the rightmost object. So since this, this object over here is the closest to the right side of the slide, when we do align right, it will bring the bottom rectangle flush right with this top square. You see that? And now if we align left, it will bring this top square right to the left of the rectangle because the, the rectangle is closer to the left side of the screen. Um, same thing works with top and bottom alignment. If I align bottom, it will bring this one down and if I align top now, it will bring the square up because this rectangle is closer to the top. So you see how that's working. That's alignment for you. Uh, the same thing holds true if you have, if you have multiple objects. See, say we have all of these. Um, they're all, you know, all out of whack. Um, but if you select all of them and you align left, it will bring all of them perfectly flush left aligned with this square on the left. So we'll go to the format tab and select a line left. And sure enough, there we go. So I'm going to delete the rectangles and I'm going to show you some other options here. Um, and maybe we should add a text box. So lorem ipsum, and I will just copy and paste that a bunch of times. 
I think that's a bit too many. Let's see. Okay, so we have this nice paragraph now. So a really common, um, you know, you want your text to be aligned with your images. So maybe we center align this text to the slide. We'll drag it over to the left a little bit. And now let's say we want this square perfectly center aligned with this text box. This guideline makes it nice and easy. Um, but, you know, say we had this text box up here, we could drag this somewhere between these two handles. Again, it needs to be between the top and the bottom. And let's make this a lot smaller to show you what I mean. Uh, and now we can just press align middle and it will align right to the middle of this text box. So that is cool. But let's talk a bit about distribution. Okay, that's another important part. So say you have some text right here and it's like, you know, select an option. This is nice and centered, but our options are all over the place. Maybe we drag them around. If you wanted to quickly get these looking nice, first we would top align them so that they're all in alignment. And now to make sure that we have the exact same spacing between each square or button, we can use this distribute horizontally button right here. So when you press that, it's going to make them all equally distributed um, between the outmost shapes. So it's going to look at where the ones on the outer edge are and it's going to distribute everything else between that. So you see right here, these obviously aren't e equal spacing, but we will select all of them and we'll select this distribute horizontally button. Sure enough, then it becomes perfectly spaced just like we want it to. And the same thing works vertically. So we have all of these boxes right here. If I press this distribute vertically button, it will bring those two in the center and perfectly space them between the two outermost boxes. So you see how we did that? So those cover all of the tools. I hope that this was helpful for you. Um, you know, you can, you can use these in really cool ways just to get that mathematical precision, make that alignment perfect. And if you do have any questions about this, feel free to ask it in the comments below. I am happy to help. And yeah, just let me know if there's any other storyline content you'd like to see because I will be, you know, sprinkling in storyline tutorials with the rest of the e-learning and freelancing videos that I'm creating. So go ahead and like the video and subscribe if you are enjoying the storyline content and I will see you in the next video.